before we hop in the car to get it started, a huge shout out to Ansel for sending me um, this OBD scanner um, to share with you guys. And um, I'm gonna be putting a link in the description to get this as well, you can get it from Amazon. And also I'll put a code for you to get a discount off this Bluetooth BD300. Right now I have the mobile app loaded onto my iPad. Uh, you could get the mobile app by scanning this QR code right here. One's for Android, one's for iOS. Or you could even just go to the app store and uh, search for Ansel Technologies and then the app will come up. It looks something like this right here. There's the application, so you can go ahead and download that and then you could uh, run your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, um, connect this to my car. One of the advantages of the BD300 uh, Ansel scan tool is that it's relatively small. Uh, it fits right in your hand. Uh, you could always bring this around wherever you go, keep it inside your, your cup holders. Um, you can pretty much fit it anywhere in your car, so you could always have this with you. It's not something that you'd probably want to leave at home. Uh, you know, keep this with you, so you could always uh, uh, scan codes and uh, clear codes on the go. So we're going to go ahead and connect this right now. You're going to connect this to your uh, OBD port right under here. So your OBD port is right here on the driver's side of your vehicle. You could just go ahead and connect that, push it in there, and then um, once you load the mobile app, it should start searching for it. There we go, device is connected. So right now, it detected the Ansel BD300. So we could go ahead and uh, we could run through some of the capabilities of this. You could do a battery check first and foremost, so we'll do that. And there we have a live readout of the battery's voltage. You could do uh, a full diagnostic, so you could click on that. And you could do, uh, one of the biggest things that most OBD scanners uh, can't do is actually service resets. With this one, it's really good because uh, with my with my BMW doesn't have a, an oil, let's say an, uh, an oil dipstick, I could actually reset the oil if I should do it at home you could actually reset your oil from here so you just go on it it takes a while to load and then once that loads you can actually reset your engine oil after you do your engine change drop your oil change right here so you go ahead and click OK and it will do that but I'm not gonna reset mine now the BD300 is really capable as well because it lets you do a full system diagnosis so you go on BMW and then you select your um, select a series of BMW, and then you could do a full diagnosis of uh, whatever issues or codes are on your BMW. Once you select your um, your series, so we're gonna go to X series, and then X three, and then ours is a uh, Geo Geo one, or actually uh, Geo eight. We'll select that, and then you could do a full system scan. There are no faults right now, um, no failures. Uh, go back. You can do special functions as well. So like the electronic parking brake. Uh, this is kind of really useful whenever you reset your, um, or replace your rear brake pads. Usually they have a sensor on it. So you have to trip the electronic parking brake to reset it or replace the parking brake. Once you do that, you could also uh, reset it from right here. Also your dynamic stability control. Your battery status and charge functions are also available to you. So you can see uh, the battery charge for over the um, a, a set period. So right now we're at 60% charge, uh, which is the highest value you could have on the, the battery. It also shows you in milliamp, um, milliamp hours or battery hours. So that's kind of cool to have as well. And the most common the most common function that we've all been waiting for is uh the erase system or fault code. So you click on that. If there's a fault code anywhere on the dash or anywhere on your BMW, you could pretty much reset it from here. So for example, you replace a headlight and you have to code it, you could do that. Press OK and then it clears all the fault codes. One of the really cool things about the BD300 Bluetooth OBD scanner is you could click on my vehicle. And once you do that, you can click on this little icon right here in the top uh, top right corner. Click on that. And you could have the option to edit. So you could put in your vehicle's information. So uh, engine capacity, manufacturer, vehicle type, fuel type, all type of stuff. And it already comes uh, preloaded with your VIN right there. 
So you could uh, do all that kind of stuff and just save your vehicle's information to it. Go back. And uh, go to, let's see what flashlight is. Oh, cool. You can actually enable the flashlight from your mobile device. So if you click on that, then it turns on the flash on my iPad. So if you're like working inside your vehicle at night, like it's dark, you're able to see um, even the OBD port down there or something. That's kind of cool that it does that. You could do uh, settings as well. And uh, you could also enable uh, screen settings on your mobile device. Uh, show the status bar, change your units to metric or English based on what you, uh, what you prefer. Uh, there's device settings as well. You could enable a few things in there. So like your device information, uh, firmware upgrade, so like software upgrade, which this one's upgraded to latest software now. You can do all that. And uh, in the OBD2 uh, menu of the BD300, you have the option to select um, the ECUs. So ECU1, uh, you have all these uh, these menus that you could click on or cycle through to check various things in the vehicle. So you could do it uh, individually. That way you don't have to scan the entire vehicle to see what is, uh, what is wrong. And this is kind of useful if you know what is wrong with the vehicle. So um, for example, dashboard. And if you started the vehicle, you could see the live RPM. So I'll, I'll show you that. So there you have uh, like an actual live RPM. So that is a, a reader of the, the car's actual RPMs. That is pretty cool. Within the dashboard portal as well, you could have the same option right here. Click on this little menu um, icon right here and you could add another dashboard. So you could add, uh, let's add both of these and see what they do. So it shows you um, vehicle speed, range, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, let's add that. And yeah, you have a bunch of uh, functionalities. I'm guessing this would be really useful on a, on a dyno, for example, if you're in a dyno to see how much power your car has. Uh, trouble codes, click on that, and you could pretty much scan the vehicle to see any codes, um, clear codes as well, by using this right here. And there are no fault codes right now. And then you could also do a system report. So you click on that and then it will generate reports based on the fault codes. But since there are none, then you won't have any popping up right now. Uh, go back to vehicle self-check and you can see there's pretty much no fault codes here. Nothing about my vehicles. So obviously there will be any codes in here. But if you had a fault code, then it will pop up here as well. The OBD scan tool uh, also allows you to do performance testing data. So acceleration tests, for example, zero to 60, uh, brake and test as well. So um, how long does your vehicle take to break um, to a certain distance? You can also set your speed uh, threshold down here as well. So you want to, for example, you want to start the break in at uh, 60 kilometers an hour. You can start that and then you click on start to run the test. Also have the distance and then you can set the, the desired distance that you want over um, the period of the test. Uh, like I said, it's pretty cool because you have a live RPM readout and a, a live speed readout right here. I could see this being really useful for me um, doing a zero to 60 test, uh, which I'm probably gonna be doing here soon on, on this vehicle. I'll probably I'll probably do this using the OBD um, scan tool. So that's kind of really cool to have uh, for all the car enthusiasts out there, all the BMW enthusiasts, I definitely recommend this scan tool um, for your BMW. In the trip menu, you also have a live readout of the, the vehicle's uh, temperature. Uh, and how long the engine is running. You also have a, like your speedometer readout right here as well. And like I said, you can set all these from um, from kilometers to miles an hour. You scroll over and you have your, your time, how long the vehicle is running. So a start time, you can start that. Your idle time as well. The highest engine speed, uh, number of break-ins, uh, hard break-ins especially, uh, and their average speed. These are all live readouts that you could do while driving using the, the BD300. This makes it the perfect scan tool because like I said, it's pretty small, it's pretty handy. It's also Bluetooth, so you could always connect it and have it uh, running while you drive. Uh, data stream. Here you have uh, the engine coolant, the engine's RPM, vehicle speed, 
throttle position and just to show you it's like an actual live readout right now as i'm uh tapping the accelerator uh it's pretty cool uh, uh this is one of the coolest obds um scan that i've ever used and uh i could see myself using this pretty much every day now uh this is probably gonna be my favorite scan tool um honestly you could also do your your etc uh, reset as well so your engine control module So you could clear all the file codes right here as well. Uh, delete Vanos adjustment, uh, Valtronic limit positions, and you could do all that type of stuff right here uh, from the, the OBD scan tool. The Ansel BD300 OBD adapter the scan tool is a really compact and efficient adapter. Make sure you guys go ahead and pick yourself up one on Amazon. It's uh, roughly $69, but you guys could save are roughly 10% by using the code Ramon Auto one So Ramon Auto one and I'll leave that in the description as well. So you guys go, go ahead and uh, put that in your cart and then go to checkout, add it as a, as a sponsorship code, and then you'll save yourself roughly 10% on this OBD scan tool right here. As time goes on, I'll be testing this scan tool some more as well. And I'll further share my updates with you guys and uh, how it's been working for me. I could easily see this being uh, my favorite as well because it's Bluetooth, it's small, it's compact, and it will always be in the vehicle, so it's not really taking up any space or anything. Well, that's pretty much it for the video at this time, um, guys. Be sure to go to Amazon, use the code Grown Auto one so you can pick up yourself on these BD300s, and uh, make sure you share your experience. So if you have one of these and if you used it, make sure you go to the comment section below and uh, actually leave me a comment. Let me know how it's been working for you if you have a BMW as well. And uh, that's pretty much for the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.